What's up guys? This is Richard again for another edition of Learning with Rich. So I'm so glad to be with you again as always. And for today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to create and modify pilasters in Revit Structure 2017. So in this exercise, I'm going to create and modify pilasters in the walls. So to do this, like what I did last time from my last exercise, I'm going to use the AutoCAD drawing. Let's say, for example, this was created by the architect. To I'm going to use the column grid. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to create a pilaster on my B2 grid and B3 grid, as well as on uh, 8.52 grid intersection. All right, so let's get started. So I'm going to zoom in first. So maybe I'm going to open first the 3D. Okay. So the 3D and I will type uh, WT to tile my view and then I click to this uh, window and then I'll type again WT to switch the window. Alright. Okay. Alright. So I'm going to zoom in here. So I want to place it on my B2 grid. So from the structure tab, I select here the column. So I'm going to use here, let's say 600 by 600 m concrete square column so i click this one okay and then i'm going to make sure that the setting here on my options bar is set to height until first floor okay so i will be creating my column from the basement until the first floor level all right so i'm going to click now the b2 all right so this is the b2 there you go Okay, then after that, I also click the intersection of my B3. Okay, so this one, B3. Okay. Alright, or I can also use here at grids option. Anyway, I'll just pick the B2 and B3 grids. Okay, so after that, I'm going to select here the modify tab to terminate the tool. And if I want to modify, let's say, my column. Okay, let's say this column. So I'm going to select this column and I want to change, let's say, for example, the top offset, the top portion of the column. So let's say I, I'm going to key in here 900 and then apply. So you will notice it will update my column. Okay, there you go. So after I create these two uh, columns or pilasters, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create and modify uh, masonry pilaster. So I'm going to create this one. Okay, I'm going to place it here. So I'm going to create a column using the material uh, masonry. Okay, so to begin with, so I'm going to select here the column again. And then let's say, for example, I want to create 400 by 400 mm. But at the moment, there is no type uh, like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select any one of the uh, concrete square column here as my base. And then after that, I'm going to select here the edit type to open the type properties. Okay. So I'm not going to change straight away this to 400. So I need to duplicate first the type. Okay. So you always duplicate it. Okay. So 400 by 400. MM. And then I select OK. And then after that, I change now the dimension here. So 400. And then I'm going to select here OK. Okay. And then after that, I'm now going to uh, pick the intersection of 8.5 and 2. Okay. So I'm going to place it here. So I'll just pick. There you go. So there's the preview. So after that, I select here Modify to terminate the model. Okay, so I just need to pan this one to refresh. Okay, so that's your column. Now, um, in case you want to align your column to the wall, so you can always go to the modify here and you can use the align command. And for you to be able to see clearly the lines of your model, you can turn on your thin lines. So if this is turned off, so it looks like this. Okay, so sometimes it's difficult for you to see the line weight uh, nicely. So that's why I just turn on the thin line so I can see it very fine, okay? In very fine line, and then I can align it. So my reference is the wall. 
So I want to align the column. There you go. Okay. You also notice that the column blends, uh, I mean the material of my wall blends with the material of the, the column. Okay. So the next thing is, let's say I want to change the material of my column. Okay. So I click the column. And then from the instance properties, so there's the structural material. So I just click this one and then you see there, there's an ellipsis button here. So I'm going to click this and then it will open the material browser. So let's say I want to add here the, or I want the material uh, masonry. So I'll just key in here and then I'll just look for, let's say this one, CMU. Okay, so masonry. A concrete masonry units so I just select this one and then I select okay so there you go so that's how you change the material of your column okay so you notice if you click your column here okay so you can also change the dimension okay so if you want to change the dimension you can also change it from here so this is our temporary dimension you can always click that and then you can change the dimension right okay so that's it for this exercise it's a very quick one but I hope you learned something from this video so if you have any questions if you have any comments or suggestion you can put it on the comment section below and then I'll just get back to you as soon as I can you can also subscribe in my YouTube channel so you will be notified uh, every time I create a new video. Okay, so until then, you all stay beautiful and handsome. Thank you.